Welcome back to Uniquely Us. I'm Frank, and this is Frank's Take, where I take a moment and highlight a story that I found that is relevant for this channel. And I have found one because this is something that I know many Christians have uh, looked at. If you guys remember the baker who was forced to or wanting to be forced to uh, make a gay wedding cake and he refused. This was a long, ongoing legal process uh, that he eventually won in the Supreme Court. Well, this same baker is once again being harassed by the Rainbow Coalition. This time, they want him to bake a gender transition cake. I guess he is, he must be the only, only cake decorator in Colorado because they continue to harass this Christian who just wants to make cakes but does not want to compromise his Christian beliefs and celebrating gay marriage, celebrating gender transitions and celebrating transgenderism or the Rainbow Coalition's uh, efforts in order to ensure that anybody that defies them must bend a knee and confess that they are the uh, the religion they must adhere to. And this is what is happening all around the country. I've talked about this extensively uh, many different times about how the, this country's uh, is not supposed to push a religion, right? We're not supposed to, as a country, we don't push a state-sponsored religion, but we are. This country's state-sponsored religion is the robo, uh, the robo, the rainbow coalition. That is the state-sponsored religion because it's being pushed on every aspect of its uh, things around the country, whether in institutions around the country. It's infected every single one of them, and it's no longer just tolerance, right? That's how it started off. It's tolerance, right? No. Now you have to participate. If you don't participate, we're going to harass you. We're going to bankrupt you. We're going to get you fired. They're going to do whatever they can to make your life miserable if you don't adhere to their worldview and participate in their make-believe. So this Christian baker, who has refused to bake the uh, gay cake, is now refusing to bake their gender transition cake. And this is just, again, harassment. And as you guys can see this in the story. So before we dive into any of that, don't forget to hit that like button and help me get this uh, video up over 200 likes. That would be fantastic if we could do that. I know you guys are a fantastic community. I know we can do it. Uh, don't also forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, if this is your first time here, appreciate you joining us. Hit that subscribe button. Absolutely helps us continue to grow this channel. And last thing, if you like what you see here and you like what the stories that we cover and the and everything else that this uh, channel provides, hit that super thanks. All the proceeds that go into uh, that we earn on this channel is going to our mission trip that we will be taking in July to El Salvador. So your contribution will make that a possibility for us to be able to do so. All of that being said, let's go ahead and dive into today's story coming to us from the Gateway Pundit. It says, Colorado Baker, who refused to make the gender transition cake, loses his appeal. That's right. Colorado Baker, who refused to make a cake celebrating the gender transition, has lost an appeal, arguing that his decision was protected free speech. The Colorado Court of Appeals decided on Thursday that Jack Phillips and Masterpiece Cake Shop broke the law when he refused to bake cakes for people based on their gender identity or sexual orientation. Phillips war won a Supreme Court case back in 2018 over his refusal to bake a cake for a gay wedding. He has since been rent uh, relentlessly targeted by the LGBT WXYZ coalition. In Thursday's ruling, the court said that the symbolisms and the decorations of the cake requested by the activism Autumn activist Autumn uh, Scardney uh, would not be attributed to the baker, and therefore it is not protected free speech. Uh, to refuse. We concluded that creating a pink cake with blue frosting is not inherently expressive or a message of symbolism and provides to an observer who is not attributed to the baker, the uh, ruling said. According to the report from Fox News, John McHugh, one of the lawyers who represented the gay activist, said Phillips had only refused to bake the cake because he objected to the idea of that gay activist wanting to a birthday cake that replace, reflects her status as a transgender woman because they object to the existence of transgender people. One need not agree with Jack's views to agree that all Americans should be free to say that they believe when if the government disagrees with those beliefs, Jack Warner, senior counsel for the Allegiance Defending Freedom, who represents Phillips, said in the statement obtained by the network, it appears that the entire cake and lawsuit were set up to continue the harassment of Phillips after the previous ruling. This case state the case this case stated 
the day that the Supreme Court decided they were going to hear the case, it was very, very busy, crazy day at the shop, Phillips told uh, Fox News in March. In the middle of all this chaos, we got a phone call from an attorney in Denver asking us to create a cake pink, uh, a cake pink on the inside with blue icing on the outside. So there you have it. Uh, this this guy is going to continue to be harassed by the Rainbow Coalition because his refusal to bend to their demands. Um, this guy definitely needs our prayers uh, to continue to fight this because it's no longer about tolerance. It's about accepting and doing and wearing and doing whatever they tell you uh, to participate in because now it is all about submission. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, including Odyssey, Gab, and Twitter. And don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. I hope you guys have a very blessed day. Bye, everyone.